Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1, Week 18. Dynamics of Volume Control Dynamics are all about the volume of music. It is quite all out. Does it increase or decrease in volume? Quite all out. Does it increase? Or decrease in volume static or changing players need to understand quite a few different words and abbreviations or short forms for dynamics to make things easier we can group these words or abbreviations into two categories static or changing a static dynamic means that all the music should be played at that volume until another direction is given. Static dynamic means all the music should be played at that volume until another direction is given. A change in dynamic means that the music should gradually begin to change in volume, going up or down, and continue changing until the next direction. Static dynamics. We use Italian words of abbreviation to indicate static dynamics. Piano means quiet or softly, and forte means loudly. Piano is a shortened to P, and forte is shortened to F. Mezzo means half or in between, and it into M. Usually we translate this moderately for dynamics. The ending is similar on a word means very. It is indicated by a double P. Or double F. This gives us six possibilities. Here they are in order from loudest to quietest. FF is fortissimo and means very loud. F is forte and means loud. MF, mezzo forte, moderately loud. MP, mezzo piano, moderately quiet. P for piano, N means quiet. PP, pianissimo, very quiet. Change in dynamics. Gradual increases in volume are shown either with Italian words or with symbols. Crescendo, pronounced crescendo means gradually getting louder and it's shortened to crest. Diminuendo, pronounced diminuendo, means gradually getting quieter and it's shortened to dim. Decrescendo means the same thing, getting louder. We use the sign The same instructions can be given with hairpin symbols. Getting louder. Getting quiet. The hairpin is placed under the first and last notes which gradually change their dynamic. Just in case you were wondering, the instrument which we called or we call the piano today is really called a piano forte and was given the name because it's capable of playing a wide range of dynamics unlike other keyboard instruments at the time it was invented thank you for watching and let's meet again next time